Hey guys, Jay Agone po. Welcome back to the Deremoy Archive. And yes, welcome back to me after how many weeks na I went kaput on YouTube, Radio Silence, kung ano man tawag dyan. Basically, I've, I was so busy managing multiple online events for two weeks. And that aside, yun nga, yung nakakaawang sitwasyon na nangyari sa Northern and Southern Luzon, brought about by Typhoon Ulysses and Typhoon Rolly. So, setting that aside, I am back here to talk about the things that we've done in the past as Deremoe with yours truly as the editor at large or editor or basically the frontliner, the frontman of the website before it's shut down in 2015. Now, I'm going to talk about my experience so far with, you know, basically events. Yung, ano, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pull up a story here that we published September 10, 2014. Allow me to share this screenshot of uh, the then deremoe.com Ayun, eh, wala na. It's out of existence. It's replaced by a... Ano ba tawag dito? A site. Uh, whatever it is. And uh, what I'm going to share to you is this entry from September 10, 2014. Alam ko, nabanggit ko na ito kanina. Pero, yeah. Uh, this entry is called No Ticket, No Entry Policy Inside SMX on Vista Fanime 2014 and its other events. So, ang buod nito, moral of the story is, this is to curb Team Labas. Simple lang, this is to curb Team Labas. Of course, there are many challenges in organizing events this big. Especially kung yung audience mo is big as well. And yung uh, nirerentahan nyo na event hall is... Paano ba? Depende, depende. Kasi SMX is a big convention site. SMX holds like thousands of people I just forgot the calculations pero uh, it should pop up on the screen it should pop up on the screen well uh, basically uh, yung organizer ng Best of Anime the Sprite Paid Asia and the SMX Manila Management has decided to impose strict rules regarding managing the crowd control inside the venue so it has been decided that only ticket holders will be allowed inside SMX take note Ang kasabay pa ni Best of Anime is also a co-produced event ng Prime Trade. Manila International Book Fair and Best of Anime is upstairs while the whole MIBF is on the ground floor. So, ang mga may ticket holders, mga ticket holders, may hawak ng mga ticket, they can go straight inside the SMX lobby, go escalator upstairs, and then roam around the area kasi Best of Anime Italy. So, sa mga wala pang ticket, they'll have to buy a ticket somewhere over the entrance. So, this is the entrance na katapat ng simbahan. So, uh, there are many stories and memes that came out of it. Naalala ko yung parang, um, there's this uh, entitled lady who said na papagiba daw yung buong SMX sa tito niya. I don't know. That's some entitled stuff right there, and people were laughing about it. She's been a laughing stock after that. Uh, if she she got into the events industry after all of this stuff, well, good for her. Because ang hirap mag-organize ng event way back then. Deremoe has been reviewing reviewing events on the perspective of the fans, the visitors, the experience without. Siguro without or with a little understanding of how events go. Well, that's something I learned in my four or five years of event experience nowadays. Ang hirap. Parang sabi mo, or inisip mo, you want to, want to quit already. But then again, may umaasa sa'yo. And inaasahan mo din tong trabaho, tong hanap buhay na to. So, you might as well get in there. I, siguro in the first few months in office, in work, I tried to organize a dance competition. 
it went kind of well went kind of well and i was entertaining everyone so glorietta i was that loud guy in the screaming magandang hapon glorietta and i was dancing to uptown funk by yon yeah i gave it all i know i gave it all during that time that was a dance contest and for events like the best of anime volunteers from anime alliance the people from anime alliance can attest to this as well Kasi they've been organizing cosplay competitions over and over and uh, putting the stone on which the World Cosplay Summit Philippines will be built. Moving back to this uh, MIBF thing, the reason for this, uh, ito ah, kung iintindihin nyo ako, ang mga events nowadays are online na pero bago pa ang pandemic, It's always been a crowded place. It's always been crowded. Cosplay events has always been full of crowds. So that's why Cosplay Mania occupied uh, most if not all the halls sa SMX sa baba. Di na, di na kaya ng, uh, ng space sa taas given that uh, the cosplay audience As is was is getting bigger and things are getting more mainstream and eto itong case na to itong best of anime 2014 they implemented the no ticket no entry because hindi pwedeng magkaroon ng dalawang crowded events this is on my perspective only ah, not prime trades mine hindi pwedeng magkaroon ng sobrang dami ng tao sa isang venue MIBF is a big crowd taker. Book lovers from all over the metro, if not just the metro, nearby provinces, nearby places, can be as far as like Pampanga, Baguio. They can go there and buy books. Wala pang Big Bad Wolf book fair dyan. That was the book fair. So, Talagang they will put these measures in order na rin to to make sure na everyone is safe. Nobody wants a stampede. And the last time that we heard of a stampede, it was at the Ultra in Pasig City. Just just a few walks away kung tosin. The ano, yun nga, um, I won't mention the program na. It's all in the past. It's all in the past kasi yung kumpanya na behind the, the production of that show and well it's basically out of franchise na so they're they're continuing as a production company as a block timer meanwhile yung host naman noon they had to cancel everything yet cancel oh they had to st- make it st- uh, they had to stop nakikita ko lang sa TV pa wala kang kamuang wala kang kamuang buwang at the time pa pero ramdam mo eh hindi hindi mo maaan eh pero if Those are big crowds. Gabe. Now, those were the times. I kept going back to the past records. Kasi yun yung records eh. Now, going back to this current record that we have, the decision was right. The event was executed very well. Walang nangyari mishaps. Ano? Kasi if they didn't implement those measures, crowd control would be like the 150%, the 200% priority siguro at that time. I'm not putting words in the organizer's mouth, but this is my experience. This is just one example of, as, as visitors, you can dictate the quality of the event as the event organizer accepts feedback. But once they set the price, amenable to the organizer who perhaps the audience that that can do it alam nyo ito yung mga bagay na hindi na natin control and we have to adjust the venue has the obligation to host events at the same time obligation to secure the welfare of the, not just the 
organizers but the visitors as well nobody wants an accident nobody wants uh say a stampede or what nobody wants someone falling from upstairs this is why sinisita na mga security ng SMX ang mga cosplayers na nakasandal sa railings sa second level ng SMX. Again, not putting words in their mouth, but this is my experience. Nasita din ako once. So I know. Talagang at this time, this is 2014 and Al really stood by his decision so much. He did his best to explain this. Ako wala akong tiyaga mag-explain ng mga ano. At, at my time, at his time, when he did that, wala akong gana makipag-explain sa mga ano, commenters. Pero, now that I have a sizable audience on my IQ, siguro I'm very much willing to take a look at your comment twice or thrice before reacting. Maybe. And that is it for me, I guess. So yeah. Uh, that's my comeback na sa pagpo-post ng mga videos sa YouTube. But, but, if you have uh, anything to learn about this topic altogether is that ang hirap pag-manage ng events. And once external or internal conflicts screw up almost your event, eh, it will take a big blow and it will need the presence of mind and yung nga, big brain moment. This needs a big brain moment when it comes to these decisions because making decisions this big are not a joke. So, after Deremoe, uh, it, it took me a few months and then graduate na ako nun sa college. I've decided to join an events company to learn what it takes and how it feels to be in the events organizing side of things. This is a lesson in life. You know, you had many regrets in life. I know I have regrets in life. And one of the regrets that I had is acting like a showbiz reporter when I'm supposed to act like a sensible fan. So, ngayon naman, eh, I'm, I'm not the last bastion of truth. I'm not the God's gift to journalism. I'm not I'm not a be-all, end-all, pero this is my truth. This is my experience and I'm sharing these experiences with every one of you so that you may know how it feels like to be a blogger in the anime community around these times. So, napahaba na naman ang story natin, but then again, there's the other Deremoe archives uh, before this, so watch the videos watch the videos i really recommend you to watch the videos this is the time na i'm going to share what i'm i've learned so far and how i went from an online media to basically becoming one of the surviving people sa events industry thank goodness kasi may mga nangangailangan pa ng mga ano of course there's a big need for events to be held at this time there's still that need and people are coming to us so yeah the links in the description you can get to my boss to the link in the description and they'll see what they can do and yeah that's about it for me my name is Jay Agonoy and this is Keepsakes maraming salamat sa panunod ninyo and I hope to see you in the next video don't know kung next week siya or uh, some sometime else. So yeah, see ya.